Good evening, everybody. I hope you are doing well today, wherever you are. I want to start today off by reading um, a few Bible verses for you. Uh, the first one is going to be in Ephesians chapter 4, starting in verse 31. It says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Then we're going to move over to Hebrews. Give me just a second. Okay, we'll be in Hebrews 12, uh, verse 15. It says, See to it that no one comes short of the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springing up causes trouble, and by it many be defiled. Charles Stanley once said, We are responsible to show the grace of God to everyone we meet, ridding ourselves of unforgiveness, letting go of our feelings of resentment, laying down our right to even to get even and allowing God to deal with the person who has hurt us we must choose forgiveness we don't want to lead anyone away from God or build a wall of bitterness and regret between our hearts and the Lord we must always choose to show his mercy to others so we can truly be his representatives in the world bitterness just doesn't start out as being what it is it has to have a start and it has to start somewhere and it usually starts with having an unforgiveness in your heart if you have unforgiveness in your heart you can't reach your full potential that God wants you to be you will miss the glorious blessings that God wants to give you because you have put a wedge between you and God and the Lord it will begin to fester up and manifest and before you know it the the root of bitterness will take hold and its roots will become so deep in you that you begin to bear bad fruit you begin to even not even hear the voice of the Lord anymore you become so angry that you don't hear uh, the conviction of the Lord any longer. The only way that you are going to be um, all that God has called you to be is to let go and let God begin to uh, pray to Him and let God break down those walls of bitterness and let him clip those dead branches and prune you to be the person that he wants you to be and so you can begin to shine this light of beauty for him if you live your life with such bitterness that you begin to take it out on other people and you can't see past your own nose you need to take a second look at yourself and realize what is going on. You need to take a step back. You need to spend time in prayer, in alone time with the Lord. Allow Him to, to um, speak to you. And you need to let go, leave it all at His feet. And allow Him to peel the onion back in you. And let go of all the past hurts or whatever has happened in your life. Let go of all the bitterness. And begin to show others what it is to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. If people look at you and they see nothing but um, bitterness and anger and strife and hatred and and um you know nipping at at other people's backs and and accusing other people 
are you doing that for yourself or are you doing that for the Lord? Are you living your life for yourself or are you living your, your life for the Lord? We need to... Uh, there's that old saying, I can't remember if it's... Uh, if I'm even saying it right, so please forgive me if I'm not, but when you point the finger at somebody, you have four more pointing back at you. So before you pass judgment on somebody else for the way that they live their life, examine your own life and see if if your life fits what the, what you are trying to portray onto somebody else. And don't allow unforgiveness to to put a wedge between you and the Lord because once that starts happening your blessings are are going to become less and less and Satan is also going to take um, that opportunity to keep pushing it in you and pushing you and pushing you and making you more angry and then before you know it everything around you is going to make you angry everybody everything they say is going to make you angry and you will begin to listen to the voice of satan instead of the voice of the lord and like the passage says forgive others because christ has forgiven you what right do we have to not forgive somebody and not show them love when Christ has done that for us, how selfish can we be if if we do something like that, where we love this person and we forgive this person, but this person isn't worthy of our forgiveness and this person isn't worthy of of love and um, our attention. That's that is selective forgiveness. You're selecting and you're picking and choosing who you're going to forgive and who you're not. And I would hate for Jesus to come back to, let's say he came back today and he found you with an unforgiving, spiteful, and bitter heart instead of a heart that is waiting and longing for him and... and um, clean before his eyes so I love you guys and you know just just pray to the Lord and allow him to take you and completely change you leave everything at his feet leave all your burdens at his feet and allow him to show you the way that he wants you to go I love you guys and I love all my subscribers. I'm praying for each and every one of you and I lift you guys up um, in my prayer and if you have anything that you need prayer for, you are always free to email the address or uh, shoot a comment through and I would be more than happy to pray with you. Other than that, um, I will see you guys tomorrow.